Hey guys, it's Mike from the Geek Pub, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to put all the electronics in your game cabinet. Alright, so on top of the cabinet I have cut this hole, and in that hole I'm going to put an electrical conduit box. And in that box, I'm going to put this little paddle switch, and this will work as sort of a master on-off switch for the entire cabinet. So in order to hold the cables in and keep them from rattling, I'm going to use these little clips that uh, just wrap around the cable and screw in. I'm going to install this electrical conduit box in the bottom of the cabinet, and it will be connected to a power cord that runs out of the back of the unit and also to the switch that we just installed at the top of the cabinet. And this will be the main power source for everything in the unit. The arcade cabinet is going to have a lot of electronics in it, and in order to keep those electronics cool, I've purchased this little USB powered fan off of Amazon that I'm going to install in the back of the cabinet. And to power it, I got this little Belkin power strip that has USB ports on the side of it. All right, so the really good news is that while you can design your arcade in pretty much any way you want, any form factor, uh, you can have it in a uh, stand-up like this, or you can make a cocktail table like I was originally planning to make, the good news is, is that all the componentry that goes into it over the years has pretty much been standardized. So, for example, this board right here is a keyboard controller that wires all of these buttons directly to a USB port on your computer. So you don't have to do any special wiring or any soldering. This all comes pre-manufactured. All you got to do is assemble it into your cabinet. The same thing for all of these buttons. So like the little buttons, they come with micro switches that just attach to the bottom of the switch. So you can get these in all kinds of different colors. Unfortunately, I messed up and ordered all of mine in black, so I'm going to order some new ones in some different colors. Uh, but these little micro switches are standard. You can get these from anywhere. Um, Amazon, Mauser Electronics, X-Arcade, you name it. Same thing for the joysticks. Same thing, they're standard that you can just put together and assemble it in your arcade. The coin door is all standard mech. Um, you can get this mech um, off of Amazon for $29, um, or you can get it from companies like X-Arcade. Um, as I mentioned before, they sell a lot of arcade parts, but they're not the cheapest. Um, so just kind of look around and decide what you want. So we're going to go ahead and assemble all of this into our cabinet. So now we need to install all of these little micro switches on the backs of all the buttons. Alright, so what's left to do now is install all of these little wiring harnesses and they will wire into the PCB and then connect to all of the buttons. So now it's time to just start putting it all together.
So the coin mech is really simple to install. It just slips in the slot and then it clips in with these clips from behind. Once again, I'm going to use these little clips with screws to hold the cables in place. So the speaker bar is just this MDF that I've drilled some holes in and I'm going to cover that with this black cloth. Behind it, I'm just going to hot glue in some of these really thin speakers that I got at the local big box store. And all that's left to do now is install the monitor. All right guys, well that is all for part two. Come back for part three and we'll put the lighted marquee in, the T-mold, and hopefully the graphics if I get them printed in time.